it's not the kid that gives teachers burnout. You know, it's, uh, it's very, it's everything else that causes problems. I also think it's really sad that um, it's come to this point and it seems to happen every couple of years. I'm definitely not attending the rally downtown, which I think is going to be a counterproductive mess. Anyone who thinks that that's going to make a difference is naive. I mean, and I don't believe that Karen Luce is naive, and I don't believe most of the teachers are naive, but if you think that protesting downtown is going to send a message that they haven't already gotten, I think is, is foolish, especially when we're, we're taking the day off work. I was the union delegate. I mean, I pay my dues proudly. T to have all these other people try to tell you that this is the way to do it, it's, it's, it's maddening. It's maddening. So all of the uh, people involved need to, to really understand that you put the kids first, always. You let me do what I've been doing for 12 years, what I've been trained to do, what I love to do, what brings me to tears when I do it. The kids are going to, to learn. So it's not that we don't care about the students because we're teaching every single day. That's who we care about the most, but we have bills to pay too, you know. The point is, is for us to make a statement. So it's not only affecting the kids, but it's also affecting the government. And they see that we're serious about what we're saying. So it's just to interrupt everything. And it's sad, we don't want to, you know, interrupt learning, but it's just what we have to do to make a point.